What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Vince and today we are back with another reaction. Today we're going to right into the 8 most disturbing things caught on dash cam footage volume 2. I think we seen volume 1 but if we didn't, who's going to stop me? Not you. So we're going to get into it. Let's go. Let's see. What's disturbing things caught on dash cam footage? This first clip takes place in Malaysia in 2017. Malaysia? The dash cam footage itself features two guys driving through a windy residential area late at night. Mm -hmm. Everything seems to be going completely normal. Yeah, normal, yep. As they start to make a turn, what looks like a person wearing all white can be seen sitting cross-legged directly in the middle of the road. Uh, uh yeah, I see it. I guess. What's the problem? Okay, that's a bit scary. Yeah, that's a bit scary. That's scary, yeah. He, he go reverse. <laughs> Couldn't be me. This is all you gonna hear. <laughs> I'm knocking that dude over. Get out the street, buddy. I didn't see you. You need to leave. Uh, all right, my traction control just came on. Yeah. He said his check engine light came on. See, that's why I say he should have sped up. Obviously terrified, the guys would immediately stop and back up their car to take a different route. The video offers no further explanation of what happened next, so it's unclear why whoever or whatever this was was sitting directly in the middle of the road. Oh, that's very weird and dangerous. On the day of October 15, 2018, police would be flooded with calls from drivers on the highway. The calls reported a Subaru Forester with foreign plates towing a caravan in the furthest lane, carelessly going full speed down the opposite way of the highway. Wait, what? The driver of oh. the vehicle was able to do this for a full seven Wait, minutes tripping? before getting into an what? Oh, the dang! The vehicle was able to do this for a full seven minutes before getting into an accident. They just got out of his way. While this was taking place, multiple dash cams were able to capture the horrifying experience, showing drivers as they desperately tried to get out of the way. <laughs> that boy different. That is scary, though, for real, because it's like. What's wrong with them? Oh. Yeah, I don't know why he would do that. How did he even get on the expressway that way? I don't even know how that happens. The eventual accident ended up causing a massive pileup of vehicles that would actually temporarily shut down the highway completely. Dude, that is crazy. That is crazy. You like, you know how unfortunate it is that if a crash happens all the way up here, and you get in the crash and you all the way back here. That almost happened to me. I was this one time I was driving home from dropping my friend off where we was getting something to eat or something. I forgot. But I'm driving back home. This big semi must have skirt. I don't know what happened if you fell asleep or something. But you see this median right here? He fell asleep, swerved all the way over to the median. Boom, smashed into it. The, the back part of the 18-wheeler flipped over. Like the trailer part flipped over like three, four times. I'm sitting there. I'm like literally... I watch the whole thing. I'm driving right behind it. You know what I do? I just drive right on to the exit and get off. It was that easy. So it must be like I don't like. I wonder what has to go down for it to be a this video, mashup this of cars. This man who is on his way home late at night claims to see a person on the side of the road. But again, it's late at night and on a desolate street with no lights. So with his camera, the driver starts filming while slowly getting closer. Well, what? Reverse. There was somebody walking in that distance. It looks really, really sketchy. It's like right under that sign over there. I, let me try to zoom it in for you guys. See if you guys can see anything. No, I'm gonna have to put the lights over there. The I'm sad. I don't see nothing. Trying to get you guys a picture of this, but this thing is scary. Wait, what is he talking about? And I if it's scary, I've never seen no one look like this or be like this. Why is he getting out? You guys can see it with the light down there. What is he doing? Why is he? Oh, no, still too far. Why is he keep driving forward? Here, by it, and I don't see nothing still. Let's zoom it out. Where did he go? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. You don't know where he went. You lost your eye. You lost his eye on him. You lost your eye on him, bro. That means turn that car around, bro, and go home. What is he doing? Over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. He's legit, like standing under that sign right there. I don't see him. Just like right there on the side of the road. That's when the driver claims to see the person. 
and after turning on his high beams, a man on the side of the oh. road wearing a black shirt and dark jeans is revealed. He also seems to be wearing some sort of mask. The guy's body language is extremely odd. I don't see no mask. Disturbingly, when the driver gets close enough, the man aggressively jumps at the car, grabbing the handle in an attempt to open the door. You see that right there? Yeah, you that's what that? he get for driving past so slow. I would have sped up as Look soon as he looked like at me. Mask or something. What yeah, bro, this is annoying. That? People like this are annoying. What the? Oh, what the? Oh, what the? That reminds me of that killer clown this stuff back is. in like 2016. Why he's alone on the side of a desolate road in the middle of the night is unknown. But one can only imagine what he intended to do if he were able to get the car door open. He wouldn't have got my door open, bro. He wouldn't have even been able to touch my hand. Taken from a police cruiser during California wildfires back in October of 2017. Dude, wildfires are seconds, scary. But shows the cruiser desperately attempting to exit a neighborhood that was overrun by the wildfires. On the sides of the road, through the smoke, trees and even whole houses are seen actively burning. Throughout the duration of the video, fire from the trees above can be seen raining down on the car. Making the scene all the Dude, more disturbing. Like trees could fall. Like that's scary. How many of y'all been in wildfires? This like, dash cam what footage the was taken way back in 2012 on a desolate road in Russia. Quickly noticeable is a makeshift roadblock made from a tree branch and multiple bottles intentionally placed in the middle of the road. <laughs> and she got out to move them. <laughs> wow. Oh, couldn't be me, buddy. Like I said earlier. <laughs> I'm running over that, bro. I'm running over that, bro. Or I'm going around it. Or I'm turning around. She got out to move the bottle. She said, oh, let me be a good citizen. I'm, my name is Karen. Let me get out and move the bottles. <laughs> Absolutely not. You see this dude in the, with the dash cam and get out. Ever stopped with their hazard lights on, who is also supposedly stopped by the roadblock. And she's moving the too two slow. Get out of their vehicles oh, to they both the got out. A car's headlights in the background can be seen getting closer. I was thinking that. I just thought it was a light though, a street light, but that's definitely moving towards us. Along with this, two people on the side of the road seem to appear out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Many commenters responding to the video believe this footage captured a failed ambush attempt. Yeah, that's weird. And that the roadblock was intentionally set up as a way to force drivers to leave the safety of their vehicles to clear it from the road. That's what I'm saying. Therefore, leave them vulnerable to an ambush. I wouldn't have left the safety One of my vehicle. One commenter even predicts that the ambushers themselves were either the people in the car down the road or the people on the side of the road. Whether this is true or not is still unknown, but still making for a disturbing experience nonetheless. Well, I would have threw something out the window to knock the bottle down or something. Or I feel like you could have got it right in between your car so it didn't hit the tire. In 2018, this driver would come across something pretty disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> While driving down the highway, like, the what driver is she would doing? notice some woman sitting on the back of a car just next to him. On the expressway. The car itself reached speeds of around 50 miles an hour. The whole time, the woman on the back is left with practically nothing to hold on to. It must have been no room in the car. That's that when you're trying to, you don't got no ride to the party, but all of your friends are going. That you do anything to get to that party. I'd never do that though. The vehicle would stop, and later on, the woman I'd can be seen the now off the back of the car and aggressively attempting to open the car's door. Oh, it could be a boyfriend situation. Oh yeah, she's crazy. But shortly after, the video would abruptly end. What caused the whole situation to transpire in the first place is unknown. Let her bang on my window like that. This truck driver was driving in the desert and quickly approaching a giant gray cloud that he assumed to be a dust storm. Them are birds! Horrifyingly, as he got closer, it was revealed that rather than a dust storm, he was driving straight into a massive plague of locusts. It was locusts. immediately, thousands of locusts start slamming into the guy's truck. That's like some scary movie stuff. For him to even see in front of himself. Are those birds? What the heck? I'm not gonna lie. I, they're not attacking me. I probably would just stop moving and put my head down. The whole thing, no doubt, making for a pretty unsettling scene. Yeah, that's nasty. Not nasty, but it's like, it's like, what? I'm just imagining he hitting one. He a man and his wife on vacation in India. After spending the day at a local city, 
the couple finally decided to head back to the resort they were staying at, on a rented motorbike at around 10pm at night. But after around 10 miles, it was becoming clear to them that they had missed their exit. Figuring it was too late at this point, the couple ultimately decided to keep going straight in wow. hopes of getting back to a main road. Wow. The couple was now miles away from any kind of civilization. That has to be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Disturbingly, as they kept going, a woman wearing all white standing on the side of the road can be seen slowly coming into view. Where? Let me see how dumb this is. So she can grab them off his motorcycle. Let me see. Yep. Yep. Like, what the heck, bro? The couple would, of course, end up speeding past the woman who doesn't even seem to react. And again, you gotta remember, it was 10 p.m. at night when this happened, and that's- I'm not walking nowhere, bro, in the dark. I don't care what time of day it is. It can be um, uh, 12 noon, and if it's dark outside, I'm not walking anywhere. Pitch black and no street lights, you got me messed up, buddy. But I don't know if y'all like, maybe because I'm a city boy, like I live in a city. So I don't know if you like y'all like, Urban? Is it? Is it suburban or urban? I don't know which one it is. Country folk. I don't know if y'all are used to stuff like this, but that ain't section it. Section of road is miles away from any kind of civilization. Who this woman was, or why she was on the some in the of the night, still remains unknown. Oh, that was the last one. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying. I was trying to think of which one I thought was the scariest. I'm thinking. Mm, probably the one where the dude was driving the wrong way, maybe because that was I feel like that was most realistic. Like those other ones, like a lot of the other ones, like the dude who drove up past the dude in the mask, stopped in front of him to record, and thought he wasn't gonna pull on his door handle. That was dumb. This the, these people that mixed they missed the exit and kept going. That was dumb. The people that got out the car and, and moved the bottles, that was dumb. It was a lot of dumb situations in here like that I wouldn't have put myself in, so I can't relate. I'm sorry. I can't relate to y'all because we are not dumb. We can't relate. Not not me, just me. We can't relate because I know we smarter than that, bro. I know we are. I know we are, bro. These people was acting wild. I, you know what I'm saying? I, and even if I, like, I had to get out that car to move them bottles, even though I literally had to, they was moving too slow for me. I promise you, I would have got that car so fast. No street lights or nothing. Got that car so fast. Boom. Just kicking bottles out the way. Boom, boom, boom. They picking them up and moving them out the way. Moved the stick and everything. I would have drove right over that stick. But I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought of which one was the scariest. And y'all know, as always, if y'all enjoyed the video too much, the comment button, like button, notify button, subscribe button, all of us. Because guess what? <gasps> I'm too smart for these situations. We're gone.